Okay, well, I'll ask the question then. Terry, how did it go? I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I think it went pretty well, actually. I, uh, we, this is our, what, our fourth one? Our third one, I think? Something like that? I mean, we've been doing it for a long time, but Tim and I have been doing this, our third or fourth one. And we've noticed on Thursday, things are a little quieter. This is day number two. Yeah, and day number two. Things get a little quieter on the phones. So if you're watching this on the website, we need you to call. Um, and uh, and also, the stories get a little tougher to listen to. Do they ever? A I little think bit. Everybody is emotionally a little more raw. And what always floors me, though, day one, two, or three, is the strength and courage of the families. Yeah, I, I, this is another thing that, that never ceases to amaze me. We were, some stories this morning that I always, you leave here and you always take stories home with you. And uh, the stories I will take home with me this morning is the doctor who moved a two-year-old's brain, did an operation, actually moved the child's brain. And the other one was the uh, couple who came in to tell us a story about how they revived their dying son on their kitchen floor, and that son was here with us today, with a big smile on his face, sitting in a chair, having fully recovered with the help of the Upper Children's Hospital. Those make my day great. So please donate. I'm going to stare into the camera <laughs> until you donate. Yes. My eyebrows are too big to do that. And don't forget to join us tomorrow when we do day three. <laughs>